Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Well, where Mike is, obviously, in Hilton Head, he was just there live. At least for the beaches now, things are nice and quiet for the cleanup. And it's going to stay dry for the remainder of this week as high pressure dominates our weather. Some clouds offshore, but they're going to stay offshore. For us, just a few mid to high level clouds skirting across the skies. But really, that's about it. We're still in a drought situation. In fact, uh, especially back in through metro Atlanta and even uh, some severe drought. Now, notice there's no drought from the Midlands to the coastline, obviously, because of Hurricane Matthew. But you can see we still have a borderline uh, severe to moderate drought in through parts around Anderson uh, County and also in Hart County right around Lake Hartwell. I'll talk more about that in just a second. And then we're talking about also a severe drought uh, from Cullowhee, Franklin, Bryson City, all the way through the southwestern mountains of North Carolina. Now back in through the upstate and you can see in the Anderson, uh, just west of Lawrence, all the way down to Abbeville, uh, Calhoun Falls to Elberton. Uh, severe drought continues in through parts of northeastern Georgia and even an extreme drought in northwestern part of Georgia. So let's take a live shot over Lake Hartwell right now. Clear skies, a beautiful Tuesday evening, but you're going to start to see more and more of these little islands starting to show up. And that's because the water level continues to go down because of the uh, moderate to severe drought that's taking place. Remember, just like a month and a half ago, we finally broke that major drought by having all the rain and the cool temperatures. Then we warmed up and dried out for the last month, basically. So we need rain badly. It's hard to believe that I'm saying that, considering if you go from Columbia to the coastline, they want to dry out for a long time. They don't need rain, obviously. 71 was our high this afternoon at the GSP National Airport, uh, three degrees below the average this time of the year, but far from the record high of 86 degrees. That wasn't set too far back, just six years ago in 2010. 69, the high this afternoon at the Asheville Regional Airport, exactly where it should be for this time of the year, but far from the record high. As far as temperatures, already a cool 56 in Boone, but it's 70 in Greenville, 70 in Lawrence, 73 in Clemson, and 74 degrees in Tacoa and in Hartwell. Humidity levels remaining very low across the air, as you can see, and very little wind to speak of. A little bit of a breeze along the beaches, but once the sun continues to go down, so will the winds along the coast. Farther northeast you go, cooler temperatures close to that high pressure, 66 in Raleigh, 65 in Greensboro. Farther southwest you go, milder temperatures, 77 right now in Chattanooga. Track of the tropics. Here's the southeast coastline of the United States, and here is an intensifying hurricane. You can see the well-defined eye that just developed this afternoon, and that is Bermuda and then right there. Bermuda now under a hurricane warning. As Nicole is moving northwest, 80 mile per hour sustained winds, but it's going to start to turn more to the north, continue to intensify. There's Bermuda. This could be a strong Category 2 hurricane when it makes landfall, maybe sometime during the day on Thursday. Tomorrow night into Thursday, the weather's going to go downhill very quickly in Bermuda where they remain under a hurricane warning. So there's Hurricane Nicole. The south is nice. Snow showers from the Dakotas all the way back to the northern Rockies. A snow shower in progress right now and 33 degrees in Billings, Montana, while it's 87 degrees and dry in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Tonight, clear skies, a chilly night, low 48 degrees, mainly clear skies, areas of valley fog forming. Some of that fog, once again, could be pretty thick. Tomorrow in the greenville spartanburg Edison area, plenty of sunshine, a mild afternoon. High temperature, 76 degrees. We'll start off cool, 55 at 9 a.m., warming up to 67 degrees at lunchtime. In the Asheville, Henderson area for tomorrow, that valley dense fog, once it burns off, mostly sunny skies and forecast in the high of 72. We'll start off at kind of a chilly cold, actually 46 at 9 a.m., Warming up to 64 degrees at lunchtime. Four day plus looks like this. Our beautiful autumn weather to continue as we go through the remainder of the week. A nice little quick warm up on Thursday until a cold front passes by. Some clouds over the weekend, but it should stay dry.